Problem set two seems to be harder than it actually is. The way to approach it is deal with each problem one step at a time, then take a deep breath, and move on to the next one. It's all very logically constructed, one thing leading into the other. And everything is in the books, in the lectures, in the videos, and here. Let's start with croissants. You all know about croissants. They're buttery French pastries. They're yummy. They are made by people like this guy. Um, a French baker. He has the croissant. And they're sold at patisseries. People have a desire for croissants. If you had one, you would have that desire. And you should have that desire. You should go out and get one right away. The best croissants in the town of Amherst are sold at a place called Wheatberry. Um, the guy in Wheatberry learned to make them in Paris. It's on Main Street. Go there now. And then come back and watch the rest of this video. Okay, you're back. Well fed. Enjoyed your croissant. That croissant's probably worth $30. Easily $30. Mmm, it's yummy. Let's turn this thing around. Well, maybe we'll... Maybe, okay, there we go. $30 for the first croissant. Second croissant, you really enjoy, but you don't like it as much, because after all, you're getting full. So the second croissant is worth $27. Next croissant, $24. Next one, $22. What's going on? What's going on? You're getting tired of croissants. If you can believe such a thing. Let's forget about wheat berry now. And actually, let's erase it. Erase wheat berry. Oop. Let's see. Will it go away? There, it's gone. Okay, we got rid of wheat berry. And now we're going to talk about you. Smiling because you like the croissant. It was good. But the second croissant, the third croissant, you're starting to get full. Help! Help! I'm being swallowed by croissants! Another way to put that is you are achieving satiation. You have a diminishing desire for croissants, for additional croissants, because you're getting full. You're getting sated. You have achieved satiation. Satiation is not an absolute thing. As you can see, you'll keep buying more croissants as long as they keep lowering the price. But they have to lower the price to get you to buy more. You have diminishing marginal utility. Marginal utility, the pleasure you get from additional croissants, is getting less and less and less the more you are full and the more you have satiation. Buy more but only at higher prices. So you will buy more, but only at lower prices. You have a downward sloping demand curve. More croissants, but only if they cost less. That is the basis of orthodox neoclassical consumer demand theory. Downward sloping demand curve because of satiation. Okay, next Next video, we will talk about the supply curve. Thank you!